talk about it on Dread, welcome to the channel. Now there's going to be a bit of a long guide, there's nothing I could do about it, I tried to keep it short and sweet. So you want to re-roll the route until you get to the Forgotten Prison, and then come out to the Abyssal Rift. Keeping to the left until we can get to the Hatchery or the Putrid Domain, it doesn't matter, because we need to get from the Abyssal into the Eon Vault map. And to do that, you need to go through this dungeon, which connects both maps. Like I said, so either Putrid Domain or the Abyssal Rift. I'm oh, sorry, the Putrid Domain or the Hatchery is what's going to connect the Abyssal Rift to the Eon Vault. You have to go through it, and you will come up against the boss. So you quickly kick his hair, pull down his back, and then stroke it across his face. There's two ways to do it. You just give it like a small kick, or you can roundhouse it. Whichever way, you just quickly do it anyway. Once killed, you just get out of there, and then you get into the Eon Vault. So now I'm in the Eon Vault, I need to look for a dungeon. The dungeon we're after is the Astropath Aspire. I think I said that right. Astropath Aspire. Anyway, just the Astropath Dungeon. Now you know it's a side dungeon because it's going to have an arch across the top of the door. It's not going to have an exclamation mark, so you know I'm on the right path. Now there can be two or one of these in each map, so you might have to re-roll. So I've got Terminus Station here, and I think at the bottom I had the Unforgiven, the Unseen Dungeon. So then I had to re-roll. So once I re-rolled, this is my second time at it, so it didn't take too many goos. I come up to this area, and this is the dungeon we was after. The Astropath Respite. I was close. Right. So once you may make your way to the very end of the dungeon, you'll come up against the, the uh, checkpoint crystal. Once at that, just run out and you'll see this. And just try and find the elevator what's going to take you upstairs. Once upstairs, you're going to get your hands. I think it's the Rusted Navigator Pendant. That's the one. Now this guides on how to make it shiny. So now we've collected it. It's going to be kill this boss. And again, you can use the same technique from before. You just kick his hair down his back, stroke it forward across his face, and then you move on to the next victim. It's just it's just how you do it. So now what you want to do is just get out of here. So what I usually do is I'll just kill myself, get to the crystal, leave dungeon. Because now we're after a soul spark. Now, <clears throat> the soul sparks are in these pyramid-like areas, and you'll know them because there's like a risen part on the map. You know you're there. If there's a red light like this one, you know you're not there. You have to look for the other one. I think there's two that spawn on the map, if it's got a yellow light, that's the one to go into. So, just go down, pick your soul spark up, job done. Now, once you've done this, on the Eon Vault map, you need to find the Forgotten Prison, the next door to get in there. Now, it's usually at the top of the map from the starting spawning door. You'll know you're on your way there because there's another yellow door. Just go in there. Get to your checkpoint crystal and then the important part is you need to make sure you equipped the rusted pendant if you don't equip it it won't work and then the next important part is just making sure he eats you that's right he gets all up inside that grill so just follow the answers i click here Sure, let's go. He'll eat you away, and then bang, navigation's done. And I just thought I'd leave a bit of a boss fighting because why not? And uh, yeah, if you want to drop me a like, subscribe, that helps. But that's going to be the end of this guide. You can watch to the end and see what good is he leaves you. Peace.